This is Isaiah chapter 59 verse 15. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us the truth that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one-third men, women, and children of Israel. And to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens, but their lineage, their sea lines from their fathers goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom, this is the brother Habashai Ibadia, GMS Chicago. And I want to title this video, Your Door Can Get Kicked In For The Truth. Okay, your door can get kicked in for the truth. Right? So, as you see here, you know, this pic, I love, you know, pictures are worth a thousand words, as they say. Um, <laughs> you see this... But I just got the picture from a, you know, drug bus or what have you. But, hey, they're going to be like this for the truth, man. All right? Because, hey, when it comes to the, the, the truth of the uh, of the power of the, the most high uh, of God, it's like you, of, of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Hey, this is a threat to this kingdom, to this empire that is ruled by Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. All right? So they're going to come down on us, man. And I got the scriptures to, to, to back up this thing here, man, this picture, right? As you see here, he got a Brinks <laughs> alarm uh, thing in his uh, uh, on his lawn. Hey, that ain't going to mean nothing, man. Hey, I got some people at my door. Hey, they, they already knew that they were coming to, to your house, man. But guess what? They're not ra raiding you for no drugs or nothing or, or anything, right? They're coming to... to, to, to put you in concentration camps first and foremost is prophecy all right the lord said that they were going to do this to the elect to the elect hey but like apostle gabar always says when the left hand is activated it's going to make the right hand activate so real quick there's another side to this let's grab uh let's just jump down in the scriptures verse 19 of isaiah 59 it says so shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, who has the fear of the Lord, the elect. Okay. From the from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. See that? The spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Let's get the word standard, as we always go into go into. Noose, it says to flee escape all right to uh to take flight depart disappear to fly that's spiritual powers man and the lord is going to uh give his elect lord willing them of that number and the brothers that teach this truth with sincerity and charity hey they're going to take flight man to put to flight all right so hey just like that movie uh well not movie but that series uh uh super sale with those Jakes over there in uh, Europe, they were, um, they had uh, spiritual powers, man. Hey, you go out there, you just stop the time, or and you just do whatever, whatever spiritual power the Lord give you. Hey, man, you just get the Lord is going to allow us to get busy on on this type of behavior, man. When Esau come in like a flood, man. Hey, Esau even have a a, a militia group called uh, Black Water, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Real quick, let's grab um, let's grab this real quick in the apocrypha because hey, Esau is gonna come in like a madman sparing none. Let's get it real quick. This is uh the book of uh the second address and um, second address sixteen and um. Let's grab, uh, start at 70. And it says, For there shall be in every place and in the city, next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. That insurrection means, you know, the government is coming down upon, right? Like martial law and whatnot. Uh, upon those that fear the Lord, right? Like we say, the elect fear the Lord. 
They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All right. Then shall they be known who my chosen, who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold and fire. Right here, O ye my beloved. All right, because a beloved goes into uh, uh, that, that's another word for David, right? King David, right? And uh, we're building the house of David, man. It says here, saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So the Lord's got our back, man. Lord willing, I'm of that number. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Only the elect is going to do that. Said the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. Let not your sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Alright. It says, woe be unto them that are bound with sins. And covered with their iniquities. Like as a field is covered with, uh, with covered over with brushes. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. All right. So you can't have any doubt, man, that the Lord is not going to uh, deliver you. Right. Let's grab real quick. The book of Revelation two and ten. This is your house. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison." Now, who owns the prison industrial uh, uh, complex, man? Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. None of the tribes own any of those. No so-called uh, black man, Latino, nor Native American own any prisons. All right, this is Esau Edom. Right? Let me read this again. Cause you people think the devil is a little a man with a little red uh, spandex suit on. Right? It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and shall uh, ye shall have uh, tribulation ten days. Be though faithful unto death." And I will give thee a crown of life. So we got to endure, man. All right. That's pretty much putting in the work. Right. Let's grab Revelation 12 and 12. It reads, um, now this is that, you know, that uh, Esau, even that great dragon coming down on us. Right. That old serpent, like it says here in verse nine. All right. I'll just read it. It says, and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent all right the, the serpent from uh genesis 3 that it, uh beguiled eve right called the devil and satan all right devil means deceiver and satan means uh, uh an adversary of righteousness which you can see that's the way the world is ran that was given into esau edom like Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked and we know who the wicked is from Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness. Esau Edom has stewardship over the world, right? Which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to jump down real quick for time's sake. Uh, it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time a short time for what rulership he knows his kingdom is over once you know that you're a descendant of jacob by uh uh uh, uh, uh naturally you know that he's esau edom the so-called white man that's headed for slavery all right so the deceiving doesn't work anymore so guess what he's going to do he's going to use his sword right which is the modern day gun and drag you up out your house and hey he's hoping that you denounce your house shy man but the elect they can't do that they're not going to do that 
all right it's written that they have the victory man like in of uh, revelation 14 okay this is the real money man and hey he 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 wants us to be in a uh, servitude under him forever but it's not going to happen let's grab real quick the book of amos uh five and uh ten it says they hate him that rebuketh in the gate this is why the apostles and elders through the holy spirit and also it's an order from your for us to go out to the highways and byways and tell our people to repent and tell these people they judgment man all right and bring out the truth the hundred percent truth right they hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speak up rightly and that's what we're doing man speaking up rightly doing these videos right it says um it says here for as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor and ye take from him burdens of wheat uh it's like you no that was pretty much it on that yeah that was it on that so let's grab real quick here let's go back to revelation uh 12 because you keep seeing this constant those who keep the commandments those who fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, right? Hey, wasn't um, America found on Christian values by their forefathers? So watch this. And the dragon, all right, was wroth with the woman, all right? And that woman represents the elect, man, right? To make war with the remnant. See, it's about the remnant. Only the elect is going to be saved according to Matthew chapter 24, 30, and uh, verse 31. All right, there's various other scriptures that goes into just the remnant. You got Romans 11 and 7, right? It says, uh, make war with, with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, and that testimony is the spirit of prophecy, man. These devils are mad because we're telling them what they're going to do before they do it. Okay. It's prophecy, baby. The Lord is dealing with us now, man. Right? And all over what? Because we're just speaking the truth. We have no weapons. All right? The scripture tells us that if it be possible, be at peace with all men. Our weapons are not carnal. All right? All we're doing is just reading the Bible. All right? We don't have any nuclear weapons. All right? So why are you uh, mad at us for just reading the book? They know why. Because these words are powerful, man. Okay? We're chatting down Babylon literally, man. Just like uh, how we chatting down Jericho. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 21. And it reads, That make a man... Salakia. Huh. Gotta jump up. Hey, because we, we came out of this obscurity of being heathens, man. All right, before the truth, we were uh, celebrating these abominable ho holidays. Now we've we've waking up, man. This is verse 18. This is uh, Isaiah 29. I'm going to start at 18. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. That's how it was before it came to truth, all of us, man. All right, we were blind. We were deaf. We couldn't hear, hear these words, right? The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord Yahweh Shai, and the poor among men. Hey, that we're poor. That lets you know those uh, uh, Amalek that's in uh, Israel now. They're not poor. They own everything, man. All right, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans—they're the poor. Among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. No other nation, right? For the terrible one, who's the terrible one? Esau, Edom, and the rest of the heathens, right? Your Psalms 83 gang, man, is brought to north, with not which is the end, man. All right, they know their king. You can see it. Their kingdom is unraveling. All right, debauchery all over the place. Everything is upside down under his watch, right? And the scorner is consumed. And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That make a man, that's my point, that make a man an offender. This is why they're going to come kick your shit in, man, like the Chicago Bears, Right? That make an, a man an offender for a word. We're just talking, we're just reading words off a page, man. Why are you going to try to harm us for that? And lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. 
This is why they're going to ban the Bible, man. And turn aside the just for a thing or not. Therefore, say, uh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. We're done with uh, 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 Renaissance uh, uh, so-called white Christianity, man. Plantation Christianity. We're done with that, man. We're, we're, we're following the spirit. Esau, Edom, he's been exposed. He's being revealed in these last days. According to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, man, starting at verse 6. Okay? We're not deceived anymore by his madness. All right? Through his pseudoscience. Okay? Everything that come out this man's mouth was a lie. That's why you have to be rewashed, man. Right? Because you've been uh, 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 tainted here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. Mystery, uh, 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 Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. This place is totally wicked, man. And the fact that you know you're an Israelite, uh, that you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, they're going to come down on you, man. Because, hey, there's only two people in the world that know the truth. That's your elite bankers, your hidden hand, the shadow government. All right? They know that the elect is here, and they know that they're going into slavery. Okay? That's why do you think they're building bunkers? This truth is damaging to them, man. All right? And they're going to come down on us. So I'm going to end it off with this real quick. Let's grab uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. And um, I'm going to start at verse 10. Now, this is the uh, the elite bankers uh, speaking this. Your top elites of Esau, Edom, right? It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age Esau don't give a fuck about woman child nor uh, elderly right even for his own people right let our strength be the law of justice see that for uh for that which is feeble is found to be worth to be nothing worth therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doing see Hey, the justice is an abomination to the uh, unjust and the unjust is an abomination to the just. All right. Hey, and our people follow the ways of this devil, too. And they're going to be destroyed right along with them, according to uh, Isaiah chapter 13. Right. It says uh, he upbraided us with our offending the law. Right. Because this devil puts his hand on the Bible when he swears in for the uh, inaugural uh, uh, inaugurations. OK. He put he put the court. The, the Bible in the courtroom. Hey, hey, Ronald Reagan named 1983 the year of the Bible. So you have the law. So guess what? You're going to be judged uh, 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 the way the book says you're going to be judged for taking away from the book and adding. All right. Continuing, it says, and object to our infamy, infamy, the transgressions of our education. He professed to have the knowledge of Yahweh. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. Yes, that's what we do, right? He was made to reprove our thoughts. <laughs> he is grievous unto us, see? Even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed him, uh, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Yeah, you hey, you, you, you don't belong in that uh uh, uh in, in our land, man. Hey, but guess what? The Lord put you there because we were disobedient. Okay? He put the wicked over us. It says here, uh, and we're almost finished with our captivity. It says here, um, we are esteemed of, uh, of him of as counterfeits. All right? What's that? Uh, uh, Zechariah 9 and 6. All right? Uh, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. A counterfeit. He abstained from our ways as from filthiness the ways of babylon is is through all right he pronounced the he pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make his boast that yahweh is his father right let us see see that's it let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in him uh uh happen in the end of him Hey, we, the Lord gonna give us spiritual powers, and we gonna uh, 
uh, get busy with you devils, man. For if the just be the son of uh, Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. See, once again, goes back to Isaiah 59 and 19, verse uh, 19 of this chapter. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. All right. Let us condemn him with a shameful death for by his own saying he shall be respected. All right. So, hey, man, these devils, man, they have, they imagine a, a, a vain thing, man. And they're going to be um, destroyed horribly, man, very quickly, man. And this word scares the shit out of them, man. All right. Let's grab this real quick. I ended off with this. Um, and we're right now living in the days of Ezekiel 37, that great awakening, right? The Valley of Dry Bones. And it says here, verse 11 in Revelation 11, and after three days and a half, all right, that's your years from like the... Uh, was 16 the 1600s all right to like the uh late 1960s when uh priest abba Bivens came on the, the scene man through the holy spirit all right and, and and pretty much gave us the understanding through the holy spirit of the old testament new testament and the apocrypha right it's like a 350 year period and it says here uh and after three days and a half the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them and they stood upon their feet. We know who we are. We know our heritage, right? And great fear fell upon them when which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. That's the Lord is going to bring us into the UFOs, man. So-called UFOs, which are the chariots of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, which you people ignorantly call UFOs, all right? come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in the cloud and their enemies beheld them all right and hey the lord is going to uh lift up his elect all right from across the four corners of the earth and these devils know this that's why they're going to come down with great wrath because they know that they have a short time man so with that i pray it was edifying oh another thing too hey to be comforted read psalms uh 91 man Okay, that'll comfort you because, hey, yeah, like, the, hey, let me just read this. Like, you. we continue with 13. And the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the 10th part of the city fell. All right, that's uh, Babylon the Great, America, right? Uh, you got the 10 FEMA regions, all right, the zip code, uh, 10 parts of the zip code, right? And the earth, and in the earthquakes were slain of men, 7,000. And the remnant were affrighted. So yeah, the the the, the elect going to be kind of shook, but they're going to be saved, right? And gave glory to the uh, to the power of heaven. Okay, I man, I could just keep going, but for time's sake, hey, those nukes are going to shake this place to and fro like a drunkard. And all these countries, man, they're America's allies. All right, they're going to uh, shoot missiles on this place, man. And that's when the Lord is going to. Uh, save us and those those uh michael and the archangel is gonna be tearing this place up too man okay so it's gonna be a, a destroy and rescue mission so with that i pray it was edifying rocket day ahawa rocket day ahawa shy bashamakakada shalom